Quality solutions and customer engagement comes when employees take pride in their work and the results that they deliver. Hey everybody, this is Ray Stendhal, publisher of Customer Engagement Magazine and the author of the Customer Engagement Manifesto. Thanks so much for being part of this video series with us. And in this video, you're going to discover why pride of workmanship is so important. Let's begin with a quote from Mr. Deming. All anyone asks for is a chance to work with pride. So as Deming approached this subject in his book, Out of the Crisis, he goes on to explain that there are many barriers to workmanship within an organization. Some of these we've touched on already in our video series, but really we've got to ask the question is how can we expect someone to be able to take real pride of the work that they do when they don't have the tools to complete the job to that level of quality? If they have really crummy raw materials to work with, they have poor tools, they have uh, poor equipment, they have an unreasonable expectation for throughput that's being placed upon them by management in terms of the number of widgets per hour they need to create. How can that lead to pride of workmanship and really doing a great job for the company? You can't, can it? So how can a manager be proud of their work when they are forced to drive their workers to reach certain unrealistic goals with all the poor inputs that I talked about. So now you have the workers that don't have pride in their, in their work. You have the management directly in front of them that sees that they are producing high defects. And all in all, the overall culture suffers. So now let's take this idea and let's look at it from the customer engagement standpoint. Because remember, this whole video series is about linking together the customer engagement concept as it relates to how we market, sell, and support our solutions with Deming's key and important ideas as it relates to creating high quality products from a manufacturing standpoint based on understanding customer requirements. So in everything that we do, we have to think about pride of workmanship. There are individuals responsible for creating various marketing materials, creating various knowledge-based marketing pieces, creating tools that can be used to support the sales process. And we have to make sure that there is pride of workmanship in everything that is being done. It's not just about creating a high quality product. We have to make sure that every touch point with a customer is a high quality experience. And in order to do that, need certain tools, certain software, certain methodologies, processes, materials are needed. It's just not going to happen by accident. Somebody needs to create these tools, needs to create it in a way that is of the highest quality and in order for that to happen they have to have the tools they need let me give you an example let's suppose that you're part of a big company and you want to create some videos like i'm doing here today and let's suppose that this big company doesn't really provide you with much to work with they don't even pay for a webcam they just let you use the webcam that comes with a laptop and most webcams that come with laptops well they're getting better but at the same time there's no professional microphones there's nothing what kind of quality can be created? See this background behind me? This is a background that costs money. So if you want employees to create content and to, to help your customers, you have to provide the right equipment for them to be able to do so. And that takes a little bit of time, money, and energy. So here's the point. If you want to help your organization grow, you have to be concerned with pride of workmanship in all aspects of your organization. And here's the call to action. Every video has a job to do, as I keep saying. As a business leader, what are you doing to increase the pride of workmanship across all of your functional areas? Key question. Write that question down and take some time with your team to go over and answer that question in your next status review meeting with your team. And the next question here is how much latitude do you give your employees to do a job well on their own so how much, are you, how much room are you giving them? How much empowerment are you giving them? How much autonomy are you giving them? And then how do you go about recognizing great work when your employees do take the time to make sure there's pride in the workmanship of their, of their end work product? 
for internal customers and external customers. So if you found this video interesting, if it helped give you some new ideas to think about how you can go about implementing higher levels of quality into your production process, but also into your customer engagement process, please comment, share. We really need to get this video out to as many people as we can so that we can change minds, change hearts, and change the way we produce great products and the way we engage with customers. So till next time, and oh, I should forgot to mention, the next video we're gonna talk about, the 13th principle out of the 14, is Institute Education. So please stay with us. I have some more great content lined up for you, and we're also gonna talk about the deadly sins and diseases that many companies have, and I wanna help you make sure that you navigate through them so you don't end up getting infected with these diseases. All the best, this is Ray Sendel, and I'll see you in the next video.